Welcome to episode 16 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from Scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we are going to talk about polling in Live Wire. And polling is usually beneficial if you have updates that are taking place in the background. For example, you are checking for the change of the payment status for example you're checking whether payment has gone through or not and you will be receiving either status of success or a status of fail you can be able to poll and see if a response from uh, the payment gateway has been received in your database you can also use polling to check for subscriber account and ideally you would require to refresh the page to be able to check if the changes have been persisted but when you use polling you can be able to just query whether you're querying the database or you're querying the response every uh, x amount of time and be able to check uh, what the update is so i would like us to go ahead and uh, try an example i'm going to do a very simple example and actually this video is going to be very short i want to create a new component so we are going to run the co command php artisan make and then the uh, name of our make live wire then the name of our component is uh, polling polling let me just call it that i will press enter and then now we have our live wire class which is called polling and inside our live wire class i would like to just um, where we have the render function i would like to pass in some uh, data so in this case i want us to say time i'm going to pass um, at the date here using carbon and we can say carbon now just like that so that is what we are going to do here and then above here, I'm going to import carbon. So we will say use carbon, carbon, like that, and then save. So basically, we are ready to use these in our um, view. So I will go to live to views live wire, and then look for polling dot blade. And inside here, inside the title tag, I would like to just spit our time. So basically, I will have it like that. And then say time. Of course, it should be a variable. And now, for us to be able to load this time using polling, I can be able to just say wire to include wire poll. Just like that. And save. So obviously because we have created a new class, we will be able to include it in routes and then be able to use it. So routesweb.php, that is what I'm going to open. And then we are going to create another route. Let me just call it poll. And then here we can be able to have the class, I think we called it polling, like that, I save. And then after that, we can be able to import the polling class here so polling like that and i think we are ready to test so let me open chrome and then we test out and see how it works so basically we can be able to visit localhost 8000 forward slash poll like that when i hit enter let us see what is going to happen. Now you can see we have time and you can see it's updating sort of like after every two seconds. So actually by default, the wire pole will be able to update after every 2.5 seconds. So it you check the status and refresh. So you can see that uh, from 24, we are going to almost 27 like that. It's possible for you to be able to pass the time maybe if you do not want to use the default time that has been uh, apportioned you can be able to pass the time here and what you can be able to do 
is to attach the time so we can say wire pole dot and then you can have 15 seconds or maybe you can even have the time in milliseconds you can say that milliseconds or something of that sort. so if we have 15 seconds we can save and try and see what is going to happen now you can see it's taking a little bit of a while before it updates And then after the 15 seconds are complete, then we are going to see a change here. Now you can see something has changed. And then obviously because wire pole is a very expensive uh, resource, so it's because you are querying every single minute, sometimes it's possible for us to be able to sort of like mitigate especially when a user has clicked and opened another tab apart from the component that is showing our poll so if uh, that is the case we can say wire poll dot keep keep hyphen alive so what happens is that uh, if this component is not the one that is open right now and maybe a user has opened another one, another component like that, then what happens is that uh, at the end of everything, it will not pull until we come back and click on this one. Then it will continue polling. But if we have clicked away, then it will not continue wasting other resource. Obviously, you can also be able to to attach visible and when you attach visible now this one will be able to pull only when the page is within the visible uh, position in the viewport so for example if you are scrolling the page and this um, component that is lo being loaded here is now not visible in our page then it will not continue doing the poll every single moment but when we come back and it appears in the viewport then it will be able to continue polling i believe i have been able to cover everything regarding that thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this place i ask that if you have not subscribed to my channel you can please go ahead and subscribe and you can also click on the notification bell such that you'll be informed when i upload another awesome video i also encourage that uh, if you like the video you can be able to uh, share it and you can also be able to comment in the comment section and you can also be able to give it a thumbs up thank you very much